We have arrived in New York. We got here this morning. We had quite an early flight from London. It was at like 8 a.m. And then because it's five hours back, we actually arrived. The flight was so quick. It was like six hour 50, I think. It was meant to be seven hour 50. Um, so we got to New York. Uh, I think we landed, what time did we land? Uh, half 11. Half 11. Um, we were actually through security really quickly, which I was quite surprised about. I thought it was going to take ages. So we got through security in like an hour, got our uh, like luggage and everything. We threw it at half 11, jumped in an Uber and got to our hotel. Our room wasn't ready, so we quickly just popped out. And when it got bagels, we went to Leon's Bagels. I'll insert a picture because I didn't take my camera because I hadn't started vlogging. And you know, and it's just like when you haven't got like and settled somewhere you haven't like got into a room and you're just like a bit all over the place like it's a bit chaotic um so i didn't vlog but i'll insert a picture of the bagels we both got bacon avocado and tomato and they were absolutely delicious we also had a coffee which was absolutely stunning and also very much needed because we were starting to get a bit tired to be honest we got a call to say that our god my hair's a bit crazy we got a call to say that our hotel room was ready so we came back to the hotel, kind of just freshened up a bit. Um, George just jumped in the shower and we checked in. I'll show you guys the room, it's actually amazing. And the view is literally incredible. We got upgraded as well, which was pretty handy because I was actually looking at the room and it looked kind of small. And I was like, oh God, like how am I even gonna fit my suitcase in there? But they upgraded us, which was lovely. So I'll show you guys the room. We have kind of unpacked though, so it's a bit like chaotic already. We are gonna pop out in a minute. I think we were planning on going to the World Trade Center this afternoon. We've basically got all afternoon. I think it's like 2 p.m. Um, so I think we're gonna head down to the World Trade Center, look around that. It's like the 9-11 memorial thing. It's quite close to where we're staying. Um, and I think we're just gonna like wander around, just like have a chilled afternoon today. We've got a dinner booked in Brooklyn this evening. So yeah, that's basically the plan. Okay, so we walk in there, in here. Oh, how do you, oh, there we go. In here's our wardrobe. I just hung up a few bits and bobs and just got like a few like of my heavy knitwear out. It's actually really hot in New York, so that knitwear's not gonna be needed. Um, you then walk through here. Here's a window. You come around the side and we've got our chair. We've got our paid actor. <laughs> in here we've got the bathroom. Um, and then this is our stunning view, like how nice is that? And then our bed's just like in this little corner. So it's actually a really cute room. And this mirror, how good is that with the background? Like, literally amazing. Look how cool. Is that the highest building in New York? Yeah. Just this one there. It's actually so tall. Like when you actually get close to it, you really have to bend your neck to look at it. Is that taller than the shot? Yeah. Like way taller? Pretty much, yeah. It's huge. We stumbled across the New York Stock Exchange and over there they have like a little sign. I guess the bike all the stocks. We're ready for dinner. I'm getting a little bit tired, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 6 30 pm, which is half eleven. Half eleven UK time. I'm normally asleep by ten pm. Going to Coconis for dinner, which is in Dumbo, which is a place in Brooklyn. Looks over Brooklyn Bridge. But yeah, I'm quite tired. Are you hungry? Not really, no. Neither. So I guess we'll just get something small. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm wearing? Blue jeans, heels, beige blazer, white top, white bag. This is what George is wearing. <laughs> Looking lovely. We have arrived in Kakoni's. I've got a Bella Chow. George has got a Peroni. I'm hoping this is going to wake me up a bit. Vodka and gin. Um, but it's really cute in here. We're just waiting at the bar currently because we want to sit outside. Then it should be like half an hour. Half an hour wait to sit outside. We have actually missed um, Sunset Bar. Brooklyn Bridge will look nice when I like so. Anyway, let's try my drink. Cheers. Sure. She'll wake her up. She's gonna wake me up, that's for sure. Position. 
we have got our table outside it's so pretty we're so glad that we're waited to come outside they actually um texted us literally like two minutes after we came in but i didn't get the text through for some reason anyway we have ordered the fusilli kale pesto and the rigatoni bolognese but honestly i'm not that hungry so we're just going to share two pasta dishes and be done with it we were going to potentially get the burrata but we didn't and what was I gonna look at? I was looking at the eggplant parmigiana. Dinner has arrived Then it looks really delicious. Um, this is obviously pesto past. That kale is pesto. kale pesto past. That is a rigatoni with a bolognese. <laughs> and this is our lovely view. It's stunning. Okay, so it's here doing anything else? More cheese, chili flakes? No, I think that's, that's everything. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. Cheers. Is it instead of the basil? Must be. Which one do you prefer then? Uh, bolognese. Really? Which one do you prefer? Um. Probably bolognese. It's quite weird because I just had quite a hard piece of pasta but I just had another one which was quite soft. Truly and utterly stunning. We are back in the hotel room. We are just waiting for someone to come and help us because we can't work out how to turn on any lights. Uh, there's one turned on in the hallway and there's one turned on in the bathroom, but we can't work out how to turn on the main light. Oh, George's torch is on. I was wondering why is it so light. Um, and we also can't work out how to lower the blinds. Like these are like automatic. The buttons aren't working. So someone's just coming up. It's actually quite early. It's 8.46, but we have been awake since um, five. And in UK time, 8.46, it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 1.46. So 5 a.m. until 2 a.m. the following day, we... Someone's here. Hang on. Okay, the guy has come to help. Um, these buttons are all for show. There's one over there. I think that closed this one. I think this blind is broken. So they're getting batteries or something. Good morning, guys. We have arisen. I'm just currently getting myself ready for the day. We feel so much better. We literally slept like babies last night. I think we went to sleep at about half nine. And I actually couldn't get to sleep for ages though, but so let's say 10. Um, and we woke up at half seven. So we literally slept for so long and we woke up this morning feeling so nice and fresh. I have got brunch booked for today at a place called Bubby's. I'm really excited to go. And I didn't actually book it until 10 because I didn't really know. I booked it ages ago and I didn't really know when we would kind of like want to get up and be ready. So we actually just had a really nice chilled morning in bed this morning, which was really, really nice. Um, we're now just getting ready to go to brunch at 10. And then we've got quite a fun day exploring. We are going to Summit One Vanderbilt, which is like a viewpoint to look over... Um, whatever that tall building's called again, Empire State Building. We're like going to Central Park and stuff today. So yeah, we've got a really fun day ahead of ourselves. I have chucked on these joggers from ASOS. This top from Zara. I've just chucked over a jumper over my shoulders just in case I need it. I mean, it was quite hot yesterday, so I don't think I will. And it's also literally blue sky outside. Um, so I think it will be quite warm, but just in case, you know, you never know. 
breakfast has arrived. We got pancakes with berry corn pot and Nutella. And we also got a pancake with bacon, egg and sausage. And we're gonna share both of them, but this is such a massive stack. We also literally ordered two minutes ago and it's already here. So it's a little bit worrying in my eyes, but not to worry. We got a cold brew. They don't seem to do iced lattes. Here, which is kind of weird so we got a cold brew george chucked literally this whole pot of maple syrup in his coffee like a massive bit fell out um but yeah we're gonna dig in i actually think we did a pretty good job this is all we have left we completely ate the other one and then this is our remainders we have just cycled for about 25 minutes all the way up town i guess so. i don't know either way we're now just taking a stroll uh, that's where we're heading Summit 1 Vanderbilt. We're gonna climb all the way to the top. I think it's about to 12 and it's 11.30, so we're just waiting. She said just leave it five minutes, but there's quite a big queue to be missed. And we actually didn't even realize that. <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing like weird facial expressions. <laughs> um, what is that mark? Maybe it's the lighting. I'm on my phone. Um, Grand Central is literally just next door to Summit One, so we're actually going to pop in there after. George has just done my band so tight, like look at that. <laughs> like, my fat is literally bulging out either side. Like, tight this is in mine. Like, I didn't even do yours. Can't you even did yours. Can't even <laughs> you did yours. Mine is literally. Absolutely. Fine. It's getting stuck. Oh, that is horrid. Making me feel so claustrophobic. <laughs> building built by New Yorkers. Feet on. Feet on. Oh yeah. We need to pick up these sunglasses. I don't really know why. Now we're talking. All set. I feel like I'm about to walk into like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Glasses, the shoes, like all the accessories. We just went in the lift. It was so quick. Our <laughs> look how weird we look. Our ears literally popped as we went up. Like my ears are still a bit like blocked. And anyway, we're just walking around the first floor. There's like three different floors. on floor one. We still have two more higher floors but it's pretty spectacular. The people in this place are actually wild. <laughs> we were also literally just stood in the corner over by the Empire State Building over there and we were just like taking a selfie and this woman came up to us and was like can we take a picture there? And we were like, yeah, but like, we've literally been here for 10 seconds. Like, let us get a photo of us. It's honestly like a battlefield out here. Oh, look, here's that room with all the balls. I've seen this on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So, yeah, there's Central Park. Apparently, some apartments in this building are 250 million. It is so busy in here. going on. <laughs> okay, we're on the second floor. It's basically just a little bit higher than the first floor to be honest. We are stood on nothing. <laughs> okay, we're on the top floor. We're just kind of like outside and there's like a little cafe area. Just heading into Grand Central now. Quite a nice train station as train stations go. Like, it's actually really. I was expecting it to be quite old, but it feels quite modern. It does smell a bit weird, yeah. And it's so weird that this is actually a train station, but like, it's such a tourist attraction. And here we have it. Grand Central. Come to Ralph's Coffee. We've got a iced latte with vanilla 
and an uh, iced matcha latte. No, lemonade. I don't know how nice it's going to be, but I thought we'd give it a go. Matcha lemonade. Pretty nice, actually. Mm. Yeah, that's really refreshing. Yeah. What is wrong with this coffee? That's good. Not as refreshing though. Yum, that is so delish. Yummy. We actually cycled all the way around and then we just got off the bike so that we could come like onto this path because this is for walking only. Also my god, my bum really hurt. <laughs> Yeah, it's really pretty. Such nice weather as well, it's actually boiling. I was genuinely working up a sweat on that bike, like I was actually starting to drip with sweat to be honest. In the sun, on the bikes, and we weren't on electric bikes either, we were on normal bikes, so it was a bit of a workout. But the bikes in New York are so expensive, like we can't really work out why. Obviously in London, like you can get on an electric bike for like seven pound a day. We bought a day pass here, which was £15 for the day. Non-electric. And that's for non-electric. If you want to go on the electric ones, then it's an extra 36p Seven. cent a minute. And like, although that doesn't really sound a lot, it does kind of add up, especially when you've already paid £15 for the day. So we just got on the free, like, non-electric ones but surprisingly central park has quite a lot of hills and we have just stumbled across the most incredible like whole foods market oh, we're starting me. to get a bit hungry so we just walked out of central park and we were kind of looking for a whole food situation came across a place called butterfield market and um, there was actually a huge queue waiting for the i can't open this water Froyo. waiting for the froyo Anyway, we decided to go in. There was everything you've ever wanted, like sushi, salad bar, pasta, sandwiches, like literally everything. A bakery. We picked up this Italian sandwich. We're gonna have half each. And then we also picked up a grilled Caesar chicken wrap. So we're gonna have one of each. They look absolutely, they're actually like fucking heavy. Like they are full to the brim. Okay, we've dug in. It's a very dense sandwich. Like, there's a lot of meat. It is nice. I think a little bit more sauce wouldn't go amiss. It's a little bit dry. But we just actually can't believe how much like meat. There's One, 11, 11 layers of meat. <sighs> That's like a whole pack of meat. Now for the grilled chicken Caesar wrap. Nice. We are ready for dinner. We're just going to <laughs> Times Square. Uh, we want to go look at it in the evening and we're going to grab AJ's pizza. We've just got a really chilled evening this evening. It is 7 30. I'm actually going on the subway. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. Like, kind of makes me a bit nervous. I've just heard it's really dangerous, but it's kind of just the same as the tube. So, we're going to give it a go and I'll let you guys know how it is. It only takes 15 minutes and when, well, one, driving will take like 35 to 40 because of the traffic. Two, we cycled earlier and it takes ages and expensive. Made it, we found the right subway. Well, we haven't got there yet, so we don't know. And here we are. Oh, view so far on the subway. Really empty compared to London. Like, it's not busy at all. It's a lot older. Like less modern trains, but more spacious, um, cooler, not as hot, a bit slower. A bit slower. I've already said that. I think. It's and a you bit. Probably can't hear. It's a bit um, brickety, but then sometimes so is London. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So yeah, that's our viewpoint on the subway, but very easy. Yeah. Lots of signs. Um, Arrived. Safe and sound. 
the queue for Joe's Pizza. It's so long. We've nearly made it. Just a little bit longer. And then we'll be in. Cheers. That's pretty nice, isn't it? day it's saturday and we're going on the helicopter today the weather has, the, the weather's actually cleared up Beautiful. it was a bit cloudy this morning and we we're getting a bit worried um but anyway we've got ready for the day we are going to a place called saddle saddle i don't know how to pronounce it for brunch um it's meant to be very famous for its french toast so i guess i'll be getting french toast for breakfast and then yeah we've got a helicopter ride which is at 12 I think we have to be there at 11 15 um so yeah that's the plan for today basically but this is what i am wearing i've got this pinstripe coat on red shoes red bag and then i will actually probably also bring my leather jacket just just in case i'm cold basically um also because this top's kind of small like this a bit it's a bit ex exposing i feel like i'll have a lot of skin on show and like that might be a bit chilly a bit brisk I literally slept like an absolute baby last night though. Like I don't actually think I like woke up. I feel like I put my phone down and literally fell asleep straight away. And then woke up at 6.55 this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, George has got a build your own bagel. Okay. And I've got French toast with bacon and it looks so delicious. Guys, this French toast, I'm going to go as far to say, is the best French toast that I've ever eaten in my life. It is absolutely incredible. Also, sorry, I wasn't vlogging because there was a table literally sat in our laps and I was getting a bit scared. But um, this is the restaurant. It's really beautiful. George had a build your own bagel. How are you rating it? Nice, but it's a bit messy. A bit messy. We've also got an orange juice because everyone else seems to have orange juice and to be fair, it's actually a really good orange juice. We're going to grab a coffee after because for some reason, like everyone just does cold brew and we don't want cold brew. We want a nice latte. So we actually decided to not get a coffee with our breakfast. We're going to go grab one after we think. We managed to secure our iced coffee. I don't know like if it's an us problem or like what, but we literally went into like three different coffee shops. So we went to Leon's first. We went to Leon's, it was way too busy actually. Then we went into two other coffee shops and they both didn't do iced latte. Anyway, we finally found an iced latte from Happier Grocery and it is nice, but it's not too, it's not that sweet. Um, their vanilla syrup is quite literally vanilla extract, but anyway, we're not going to complain. We're sat in the sun. We're going to walk down to the um, pier where we need to get on the helicopter because we have to be there like 45 minutes early. Oh. Kith Treat. Talk to you guys about the helicopter later, by the way. Just had an absolute mare. So we were in Kith Treats, right? 
ordered our things and normally with the name Lissy a lot of people can't really pronounce it I get all sorts to be honest like I get Lizzie I have had Lisa before I get all kinds of names anyway he calls out the name Lisa so I just kind of assumed it was mine so I went and picked it up anyway they were then waiting for George's and then they called out Lissy like really clearly and we were like oh shit but I'd already started eating mine and they called out I think they called out Lissy again and Lisa went over and was like Lisa like did you say Lisa and then I was like oh my god shit I've got fucking Lisa's ice cream and we just ran out of the store basically mine is nice but I was meant to have like an Oreo one I don't know if it's Oreo Lisa's now got an Oreo one Lisa's now got Oreo and I've got whatever she chose it was nice though. I don't really know the last time I vlogged to be honest, but we had a such a nice afternoon just wandering around Bleecker Street, Soho, I want to say is the area. Um, but the helicopter, we went on the helicopter, it was literally amazing. You would have seen like a little um, montage. <laughs> but I didn't vlog it obviously, for, like for obvious reasons. There was literally five of us cramped in the back of a helicopter and it was very tight and there was no way in hell I was vlog vlogging. But it was amazing. The views were literally incredible. The day, like the view, like the day we had, we were so lucky. It was literally pure blue, no wind, like no clouds. It was amazing. Um, actually, I must have vlogged in Kith Streets actually because we had that whole. I had um, Lisa's. Lisa's ice cream. <laughs> anyway, we then came. We wandered around Beaker Street. Just like had a really nice under, uh, afternoon strolling. Back to the hotel, chilled for a bit, and now we're ready to go out we're actually going to the rooftop for a drink we've got a complimentary drink with the hotel so i'll show you guys that and then we are also going to a jazz club i don't think i'll be able to film inside the jazz club but i will try and film kind of as much as possible but this evening i've got a bit jazzy this tonight for the jazz evening um i just got a white t-shirt black coat and then the sequin skirt and these heels my legs look kind of pale but oh well just on our way to Black Sea Bagels to grab a bagel for breakfast. We're actually just going to share one because we don't want to get too full and we're going to a place called Chelsea Market and it's like got a food market so we want to be able to get some snacks there. I can't remember where I left off though but we had such a nice evening last night. We went to this jazz place which was really really nice. Then we actually met up with a person that George knows. Um, so we met up with them, had some drinks and then went home. We were home quite late actually, I think it was like 1am yeah. but we. it's really weird so I felt quite sick yesterday in the afternoon, like quite nauseous and then it went and it was fine. Then George got it when we were out for drinks, then it went and he was fine and then I got it in the middle of the night and now it's gone so I'm just a bit confused as to what that is, like I've never really had that before. Um, hence the reason though why we're gonna just share a, a bagel. bagel because I don't want to like overeat I don't know if that's what's making me feel sick because I'm literally eating so much bloody food um, but yeah it's a lovely day okay. Guys, I think we've entered the biggest Starbucks ever. It is literally ginormous. Like, what the heck? I've honestly never seen anything like it. Just stopped off for a little refreshment drink. I've got a iced green tea with lemonade. George just got a ice latte. It's really nice. I kept seeing people with this. Um, and it's actually really refreshing. We walked around the dumbbell earlier and over Brooklyn Bridge. Um, we're in Chelsea now and we're going to look around Chelsea Market. Maybe grab a little bite to eat for lunch. The straws are quite weird. Do you know what I mean? The 
feel quite odd in my mouth. <laughs> We are ready for the last evening. We, I can't remember really what I've vlogged and what I haven't today, but I haven't really vlogged that much. But we actually ended up going to the 9-11 um, museum. We didn't go on the first day and then George was like, I actually really wanna go. So we went at 5.30 PM, but we just strolled around Chelsea area. And what was the other area? West Village. West Village. Um, we went to this Gotham Burger. It's called Gotham Burger, but it's basically like a smash burger restaurant and it was so delicious. We went and got cookies from Levain Bakery, which were also really delicious, but we have decided that creme cookies are better, um, but they were still delicious. And then we got home, chilled for a bit, and now we are ready to go to Carbone. Carbon, I don't know how to pronounce it, but to get a booking at this restaurant, it's genuinely impossible. I I don't need, I don't even know how I managed to get it. They literally sell out, like all the tables are fully booked. 30 days in advance, the bookings come out at 3 p.m. UK time and they literally get booked up in like a minute. So I actually tried for last night on the, must have been the 5th of September and I missed the booking and it was one minute past three and all the tables had gone. Tried again on the Sunday and I managed to get one. Not until 9.30 p.m. I think the time is right now 8 15 so i think we might go for a drink and then head to carbone carbon whatever it's bloody called um but apparently the spicy rigatoni is meant to be amazing so we're definitely going to get that and yeah i'll try and bring you guys along i'm always like this on the last day though i'm literally so bad at vlogging on the last day like i'm just i don't even know what i'm doing but i'm awful at vlogging on the last day so i do apologize i feel like it's been a bit like mismatch today but yeah we head back tomorrow morning our flight's at 9 a.m so we're gonna have to get up bright and early get in a taxi go to jfk and then got a six hour flight on our hands which we're not really that excited for to be honest because it's always when you're going home there's nothing to get excited for obviously when you're coming on holiday you're like excited for the holiday but when you're going home it's just like oh just get me home We've also watched all of maths, so that's what kept us busy on the way out here. We literally had four episodes of maths to watch. We've now got none. Did you manage to download that actually Thursday? No, it didn't work. Didn't work. Um, so yeah, anyway, I've got this top on from Zara. I actually really like it. Got some grey jeans, um, some silver heels. We're gonna have a lovely evening. I'm still quite full from that burger though. It was good though. It was really good. Smash burger, I would recommend going there actually. Gotham burger. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. That's the POA. It was, it was. <laughs> Absolute classic. Me, obviously, I did not finish vlogging. I didn't end the video. I, I do this every time. Every single holiday I do this. I just leave it and like, I don't even know like just I just end up on like the weirdest randomest point and just never close off the bloody video anyway I was editing this afternoon it's a week later well it's Saturday we got back on Monday um the flight home was so fine it literally went really smoothly we got home quite late it was like 10 p.m um it was it was kind of hell to be honest like the jet lag like we were so tired I was trying to like unpack at like 11 p.m I needed to wash my hair and have an event the next day it was just like chaos um but carbone carbon i was so excited for this booking as you guys know i booked it so long ago and i was really trying so hard to get a booking at this place we were so full i genuinely i think my body was like like no more food like genuinely i could not fit anything more in my stomach so we went out for dinner and we literally shared a pasta dish and we shared some meatballs like we got meatballs each like these big meatballs um i'm really glad we tried the pasta though because it was actually delicious it's like known for its like spicy rigatoni and it was absolutely divine but yeah i mean I, I couldn't fit any more in my stomach and the waiter was like sharing one pasta like isn't really enough and i was like trust me buddy i can't fit any more in my stomach like i will explode um so this week has been a big health kick like just seriously cutting back like stripping back down to the basics um but we had such a good trip we literally had the most amazing time i honestly like editing the vlog it's not the best vlog i've ever done i'm not gonna lie like i was kind of looking back at it and i was like oh not great but i'm just gonna post it anyway because who really cares you guys can see what we got up to 
see where we went. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, oh my God. <laughs> so <laughs> just watching these people cross the road and this Amazon van was literally just reversing straight back into them. Yeah, dinner was lovely. I just wish I was a bit more hungry to be honest. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching if you've got to the end and I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's really not my best work, but you know. I think next week I've got a H&M haul coming for you guys. You guys loved the last one, so I thought I'd do a new one. There's lots of gorgeous new in pieces. So do look out for that. And I really look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.